that pretty cool. So what do you think? <laughs> think you can, you can accept that? What do you need to see? Oh, really? Oh, really? Hey guys, I'm Googie, and today we're going to be reacting to Testing Boyfriend Goes Wrong. Must see ending. Alright, so let's get started. Oh, okay. So this is the classic, I don't have enough money to pay you, but I'll exchange favors instead. I can make it up to you in another way. By the way, this wouldn't necessarily work if you're a guy and if it was a woman trying to sell something and I only have $20, you are like way off way off like you didn't even come up with 80 or 90 percent of the money i mean at least if you had 80 percent of the money sure we can have a conversation and maybe i can consider but you had less than 20 percent of the money no way and i'm pretty sure you found this listing online and you see it was 120 dollars you only come with 20. i mean if you came with 100 instead and you are off by 20, then I'll be like, okay, maybe, maybe, just maybe, your quote unquote assets wouldn't work with me. Show you and give you and do you work out? Do you have a six flag? Let me see. Wow. I mean, you don't have a girlfriend though, right? No. <laughs> Oh, so her rear can basically just make up for the hundred dollars like that. Like, dude, come on, you're probably only tapping those cheeks once. And for a hundred dollars, I mean, come on. Come on now. No, no, now my guy is down real bad. So, just because she has a cute rack, he's basically giving his system for free. Wow, dude. What a soup. I mean, with the $120, you can probably use that towards buying a better speaker or towards buying better gadgets and electronics just in general. I'd take the 120 any day over the cute rack. And dude, she's only there for like, God knows how long, like maybe an hour tops. No way, bro. He went inside, blindfolded there, asked me what to do because she didn't know. I mean, I don't know how bad that is to you. Uh, that's pretty All bad. I don't think sure I want to hear that. This is how it ends, just so you know. This ending is so cheesy, dude. Like, this guy just happened to have a wedding ring in his pocket and then happened to know that he was getting punked. Like, I thought these videos were supposed to be discreet so then the person in question doesn't know that they're being recorded and that they're being tested. But if this guy can literally like um, say, hey, I just wanted to marry you or whatever, like, oh, hey, look behind you. Like, 
he plans this out. Bro, this means that the test didn't exactly work. So how would this guy even know that he's being pranked unless these guys from Two Catcher Cheater they didn't do their job properly, which doesn't exactly look like they did here. But no, this just sounds unreal. Like this one, I don't exactly believe at all. Like, And then to have it planned out where you're right behind her as she's watching the video. So then you see like if she's, so then you can like literally kneel down and be like, oh, this was all just a joke. Um, I wanted to scare you a little bit, but then I'm trying to propose to you too. This just sounds unbelievable. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, please don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and share. I'm Googie!